by my colleague uh, Dan here. Hey Dan. Hey Alex. Thanks for uh, coming on up. And so we've got got just a few things uh, up on stage. There's so much that you can do that you you know we just have to keep it keep it simple here. So this is our SmartSense uh, open and closed sensor. It's a battery powered Zigbee sensor that connects wirelessly as a local device through the SmartThings hub, then up to our cloud and through to the mobile app. And you can do things like attach it to windows and doors and know if they're open or closed. But it also has things like a built-in temperature sensor and some other cool stuff. So you can see we've got the mobile app shown up on the, uh, up on the screen. You can see that uh, if I open this, it flows through and shows that my door is open in the mobile app. So it's, uh, it's amazing how quickly that flows you know, all the way through to our cloud back down to the mobile as well. So one of the great things about the platform, though, is how easy it is to change the behavior of devices in your home uh, uh, based on installing these basic smart apps, which are created by developers just like you, and you can easily write it and publish them in a few taps. So Dan is selecting a light here that we have on stage, and you'll you walk in the back, watch in the background. He's going to configure it with a basic smart app that will turn it on when I open the door. And I have other options, like you can do it only when you're at home or so on, so I'm going to set it up that way. So when I'm at home, I want the, the light to turn on. So he set that up, and uh, the smart app's installed, and now if I open the, uh, the door, the light turns on. So the exact same behavior in this device created some other manifestation in the physical world that's, uh, that's pretty amazing. So you can see that that, that all, all, uh, all worked pretty seamlessly. So a moment ago, I also mentioned it, it did it only when I'm at home. Uh, this idea of modes in smart things where it can be aware if you're awake or asleep or home or not. So another simple powerful feature that can be leveraged by developers. So another developer actually uh, built an app that does voice recognition on the Gear S and where I can say to my home and make these changes in the mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, Goodbye to my home. Goodbye. So that, that'll take a second to recognize and go up to the cloud, and uh, we'll see if it's, if the, the demo gods, in fact, favor us there. So there you go. So pretty amazing. I mean, we didn't build a, a line of that code ourselves. It's all done with the open platform. So in addition to that, now let's imagine that in this mode, I'm away from home. What would happen if I open my door, somebody opens my door, and I'm not there? Let's see what happens. That still freaks me out every time. <laughs> the, uh, pretty real, right? So as you heard, the Sonos Play 1 here is on, uh, on stage as well, and we, a developer wrote an app to play a sound on it when you're away an event happens. But that could have been a siren or any other sound that you can imagine. You can sort of build your own freak, freak the burglar out uh, type of apps. But anyway, Dan, thanks for, thanks for joining thanks. me on, on stage.